Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be cooking a delicious winter warmer. We're going to be doing a spicy ginger and chilli fish pie. As part of Sainsbury's Love Your Freezer campaign, they have challenged us to make this recipe out of pretty much all frozen ingredients. Starting off with frozen mashed potato. Yeah. I didn't even know this existed. This is a new thing for me. We're going to see what it's like. I've never seen anything like this before, but I'm going to have faith. So we're going to put two tablespoons of water in there and then we're going to cover it with cling film. Pop it in the microwave. Mike, that is your job. Fair enough. So what now? now we're going to put the fish yeah. into this simmering water to defrost it, basically. Defrost so it. you want the whole bag. Whole bag. Pop it in there. Both bags. Yeah, both bags. You can cut them, I'll tip them. Do it gently so you don't splash yourself, it is boiling. How long then we simmer, simmer this for two to three minutes so that it's defrosted. Fair enough. So we're going to pop a little bit of oil into our pan here. And then we're going to add 200 grams of our pre-chopped onions. Pre -chopped. You can do that. It's about a third of that bag. And then we're going to add in a tablespoon of chopped garlic, a tablespoon of chopped chilli, and a tablespoon of chopped ginger. And we're just going to throw them all in together. I think these save quite a lot of time if you're in a bit of a hurry. I was going to say, yeah, it's just <laughs> a lot easier than chop, chop, chopping. I'm going to get the mashed potatoes out of the microwave. Delightful. I'm going to take the cling film off, mash it up a little bit with my fork. So the onions are looking nice and golden brown. Now I'm going to pop in three tablespoons of curry paste, bolty paste. So one, two, three. Okay, so next we are going to take the fish out of its little Whoa. poaching pan and we're going to pop this into our bowl. and then we're going to break it up a little bit, just to break up the chunks a little bit, make them a bit more bite-sized. We're going to add a handful of peas into Mike's little special paste mixture. So then we're going to pop in a whole pot of creme fraiche. This is 300 ml. And we're going to mix this in to make a nice creamy sauce. And then I'm also going to pop in two tablespoons of chopped frozen coriander. I love coriander so much. It's one good. of my favourite things in life. So do we need some stock to go with this? Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of the water that the fish was poaching in, about 150 ml, and pop it into our sauce. Yeah, and we're pretty much well. done. I'm ready for your mashed potato. Where's, uh, where's your ready? mashed potato? Yeah. Pop it in. Only Mike does a pattern like that on top of a pie. I think it looks good. You are such a perfectionist. You've got to put the pattern on so then it gets brown. Right. So now we're going to pop it into the oven for 35 minutes to get golden brown, and then we're done. So here it is, the moment of truth, guys. The chili ginger curry fish pie. That is a heck of we're a We're going to try it. We we'll serve it up. It's yeah. going to be piping hot. Yeah, let it breathe. Tasting time, Mike. Let's go for it. It looks quite hot. We'll give it yeah, a bit of time. Mm. That's actually really good. I was really surprised to find mm. um, curry sauce in it. But it That's actually good. tastes good. It's yeah. like a good combo and I wasn't expecting that. Considering that it's straight from the freezer, that is really, really good. If you want to see more freezer recipes on this channel, you can check out some of the stuff that Barry and Becky have been doing. Click here. Or you can check out our giant cake pop, which was so much fun. We filmed that with our friend Barry. And if you want to see that, go and check it out here. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see a brand new recipe from us. And we'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye, guys. Goodbye.